Good morning. We are still here in Estonia. We moved on from the spot we were in last. A wedding happened <laughs> at this spot in the middle of the woods. It looked really nice, uh, but we were a bit in the middle of a ceremony, so we headed off. People were arriving and there were speakers, music, sound system getting set up. More and more people were arriving. Flowers were getting put out. So I went up and asked if it was okay to be here. And they did say yes, but it got busier and busier. And then the ceremony was starting in like half an hour and we decided it's a bit rude to take up parking. So we got out of there. We've come down to this spot and it's actually really like an idyllic little spot. All the mosquitoes have been replaced with butterflies mm. and there's like a nice river running past and it's lovely. It's really nice. Another RMK site. Mm. Although everyone knows about my fear of frogs and it's, there are lots of frogs here which is amazing for the biodiversity but I keep getting I think quite frogs scared. are one of my favourite animals. Yeah, yesterday I had to jump onto someone's back because I was very scared of a big frog. Massive wimp. This morning we had a bit of an issue with our toilet. We've noticed there's a little leak in it, so Tom's been fixing that. And it's not a very nice job to do, to be honest. I can't rave and rant and praise these RMK sites enough. They're these little free camping spots ran by the Forestry Commission here in Estonia. Fantastic with fires, shelter and toilet. So we've been having the joy of a little public toilet or portaloo in most of the spots or a composting toilet, even better. Normally they're a little bit dirty, but you can't complain when it's free and they normally got bins, sometimes they even have water. We have found Estonia to be fantastic for finding spots to park in for free, although not so great for finding places to empty your toilet. So we've just been using the toilets at our spots rather than using our little toilet. So yeah, just bear that in mind if you come here, try and find a spot with a toilet. Hoping we get to do a bit of hiking today. Stretch the old legs. Yesterday we had a very van-based day. And the thing about when you live in a van is you don't get to like you, normally in a house you would walk quite a lot to go to the toilet or to go to your kitchen but everything's within two steps in a van so didn't do much exercise yesterday that is our time in estonia come to an end we are heading off to latvia so guys we were trying to film us crossing from estonia into latvia but we didn't notice Maybe we were chatting we got distracted but we are in latvia now so our first stop in latvia uh, we've pulled up on the side of the road. I think there's a nice hike around here. Uh, there's some nice woodlands and stuff. We're actually in a national park. We're in Golja National Park, which is the oldest and largest national park in Latvia. And we're at the Lisu Langu Klintis. This national park is known for its sandstone cliffs and caves and uh, interesting geology. It's also got lots of lovely forests and a big river running through the middle of it and lots of castles and stuff as well. It is the perfect walking conditions right now. Really cool. We're under the shade of the trees. I'm really enjoying moving my legs. Yeah, I've been not doing enough exercise these last few days and I've definitely missed it. And I haven't really done a hike since... Oh my gosh, I haven't done a hike since then yet. That's really sad. And this isn't really a hike, more of a walk, but... I miss it. Welcome to Latvian lesson with Iz and Tom. Just arrived in Latvia, can't speak any Latvian. Let's try and learn something. So our first word is hello. Sveiki. Sveiki. Sveiki, sveiki, sveiki. Thank you, it's Paldis. It's really lush and there's like a undergrowth of ferns and stuff. A bit murky around here, we want to go swimming in this. I just gutted it's not mushroom season because I bet there'll be some amazing mushrooms around here. We've just been walking down these steps and there's these like sort of caves in the cliff here in this sandstone rock and this is sort of what this area is all about. So you guys, if you don't know us, we are so into mushroom foraging. When we managed a campsite in Scotland, we lived in this wild flower meadow and next to us was this woodland where there was amazing seps and chanterelle mushrooms and we would get a massive haul every day. So we're really hoping for a good summer of mushrooms this year. We just find it so much fun. It's like a little treasure hunt and makes walking even more interesting. The sandstone rock is really soft and loads of people have carved their names in and stuff. And lots of it's done pretty poorly. Some of it, they've really put some effort in and done some quite, uh, quite neat graffiti. I can't really even fathom how old these cliffs are, but 
th this number is just so high. So it's there, 350 to 370 million years old from the Devonian period. It's kind of a shame that people are graffitiing because we need to preserve them as much as possible. There's a really nice walk through the woods. Um, there's like nice little steps, wooden steps put in everywhere and little duck boards over the boggy bits. So uh, it's quite accessible, but it's still got a nice jungly feeling about it. And these cliffs are just awesome. So the cliffs are just on the side of this massive river here. And this is the river Galdra, which is what the park is named after. And it's completely red from the sandstone. It doesn't look very inviting to go swimming here. So we've just come back out of the woods and we can see La Bamba. Uh, that walk was about six kilometres, a nice big loop. Uh, it was really nice, really enjoyed that. We have driven about 40 minutes from where those cliffs were and what an amazing spot we've found. It's gorgeous here. Um, en route here, we actually stopped in Cassis. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's fun to roll in. Mm. I feel like the weather's about to turn. We need and... to take shelter in a cafe. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Right on cue. And the rain came. But we ducked into a coffee shop and we had some coffee, which was really nice, and watched the rain out the window. That's my Latvian. There's also a castle there, which we were thinking about going to explore, um, but with the rain and the 10 euro entry fee, we decided we would give it a miss. I spotted this park thing, and I just have to have a go on it. Well, if you're in the area and you want to have a little smile or a laugh, have a go on that seesaw thing, that's great. We've popped out the other side of Cassis, headed on a little way towards Riga, and we've found this place, and this is actually stunning. It's just us here as well. There's lots of spots you could come and park up next to us. There's been benches fireplaces and places to swim. Mosquito levels are pretty low, no mosquitoes yet, but it has just rained. I don't know if that just suppresses them for a minute and then they come back stronger or something. Um, but for now, it's all clear, which is lovely. Looks nice. Oh. I feel so good. I'm yeah. so glad we went in for a swim. I was, uh, I was like, do we go and lie in bed and watch a movie and do nothing tonight, or get in the water, wake up, and oh, I just feel so much better mm. getting up and doing something. So nice. I was definitely in like a mood of feeling lazy because we've been like hiding away from the mosquitoes each evening. We've been going to bed, well, into the van really early, so it's really nice that we can just be outside. I've just been walking around the campsite here and I've actually spotted that some of the bushes have uh, berries on and um, I thought it was a little bit early but it's actually they're bilberries or in Scotland they'll be called blaberries or here they're called merlinio. The berry hunt has to go and pause for a bit, I only got a few but um, Isabel's calling me back for food. So I've cooked us up some spaghetti with black olives and wild garlic hummus. Tom got me this when he was away and it's the most delicious thing. Eggplant paste so good like i do love aubergines they're my favorite food but this is on another level so good just with bread but i think it's gonna be quite nice on the side so um this hammock was given to us by tom's mum it used to be tom's sisters and we haven't used it yet we keep forgetting about it because it's in our garage but tom's just put it up for the first time and i think this is going to be a new little uh, hobby of ours to lie in a hammock this is the perfect spot for it right between these trees I really like the hammock too Ha <laughs> ha! 
And all we've realised as well, this gives us an opportunity to have some time alone. I've just been in the van on my own and Tom's in the hammock. I've been sat here for ages. We've been listening to podcasts mm. and um, yeah, it's just been so nice. So it is Sunday, which means it's van life YouTuber day. <laughs> so we've uh, come into the van, watched a few uh, guys on YouTube, catching up with everyone. We were in a really good routine when we were doing our daily vlogs and we loved it, but now we seem to have slipped back into the old ways. <laughs> we want to get back into early starts because it helps me with my mental health, getting up and at it early. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Hello. Can you hear me? Thank you for watching me on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>